All right, so I had a question in chapter 5.2.1, and it starts off like this. It's you have ammonium phosphate plus uh, calcium perchlorate, and um, this is, it's actually written out, but I like you guys to guess the products anyways. Um, phosphate and perchlorate will essentially switch. So you get ammonium perchlorate, perchlorate, plus calcium uh, phosphate. All right, so if we draw these out, ammonium is NH4 plus. Phosphate is PO4. It's got a three negative charge, so we need three of these ammoniums to cancel that out. Plus calcium perchlorate. Perchlorate is ClO4 negative one, calcium Ca2 plus. We need two of those perchlorates. Ammonium perchlorate will be NH4 ClO4, and this is why naming is really important. You want to be able to do this very quickly. And calcium phosphate. Calcium is Ca2 plus, phosphate's PO4 with a three negative charge. So you need three calciums and two phosphates. So we get Ca3 PO4 2. And our objective is to balance this reaction. Um, really, you were given this in general, just this whole thing, but I like to start from the beginning and give you more information than you need just so you get used to this because this is how it will appear oftentimes on an exam. All right, so now we've got to balance this thing. Uh, kind of going from left to right here, I have ammonium, I've got three, here I got one, calcium I got three, here I got three, perchlorate I got two, here I got one. Um, so pretty much all of them have a point of difference, right? Um, one thing I like to pay attention to though, as I'm going from left to right, if I multiply, uh, so again, this, this is three. If I end up putting a three over here, I've changed that to three per chlorates, right? But let me keep going. Uh, phosphate over here, if I put a two here, oh wait, if I put a two here, um, because I have two phosphates over here, now all of a sudden I have six ammoniums. So when you have twos and threes, you should be looking at what might end up turning to six at some point in time. So kind of go from left to right. Ammonium, yeah, it looked easy, right? Here's three, here's one. If you put a three there, that changes it to three chlorates, but hey, you have two chlorates over here. You know, the only way you're gonna change the, the three to two is using uh, some kind of factor of six. So right off the bat, I see an issue. So you wanna start with something that's going to eventually change to six anyways. Um, so, uh, what what I see that stands out to me immediately, and this will come after a lot of practice, is we went here to ammonia, we went to phosphate, now I got calcium over here, I got three over here, I got one. If I put a three over here, now I've changed it to six chlorates, and that's why I want to start with this one right here, because now I'm working with sixes, and I know, based on going back and forth, that I'm eventually going to get to sixes. So I'm going to start with calcium. On my left I have one, on my right I have three. 3 divided by 1 is 3. And so this was the most complicated one. Now, obviously, once you put a 3 here, you've changed the number of perchlorates. You can keep that all together. Over here now, I have 3 clo 4 twos. In other words, 6 in total. And then on my right-hand side, I only have 1. 6 divided by 1 is 6. And put a 6 there. And now you've set yourself up for success. Now I've changed the number of ammoniums. On my left-hand side, I got three. On my right-hand side, I have six. Three divided by six is two, so I put a two there. That's changed the number of phosphates. On my left-hand side, I have two. On my right-hand side, I have two. And I am balanced. So kind of go through and look, especially when you have twos and threes, look for something that might eventually turn to six. And I hope this helps.